Hey you guys, this is Steven from Steven Gaming TV and welcome to your third G Develop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the scene editor inside of this beautiful program. And before we start, I want you to know that you are now inside of a tutorial playlist. You are inside of a tutorial playlist containing G Develop tutorials. So if you don't know that yet, go check out the, my YouTube channel and you can see the whole playlist over there. So right now what I want you to do is go to file at the top right here and click on new and you're gonna choose from one of these HTML5 or native for now I'm gonna check an empty project in native Windows or Linux games I'm not gonna change the project path over here I'm just gonna create my new project takes a while and there we now have our new brand new project so if you don't see the scene editor right here you probably are inside of the events editor to get out of that just click on the scene over here scene tab over here so right now we're gonna see how to make a new object to create a new object or add an object to your scene just right click on your empty canvas and say insert a new object then you're gonna be greeted by this pop-up right here it basically asks us what kind of object we want to make sprite three box light or something like that a sprite is something that can move that can have animation that can have direction etc etc just like your player character or an enemy there are many things and I'm gonna I'm not gonna explain these all over here I'm probably gonna make another video for this but for now we're gonna choose sprite before that I'm gonna explain some of these I'm gonna explain just some of these for example tile sprite is like a sprite but the image gets styled when you drag the object around when you make the object bigger the, the image gets tiled like a pattern text entry is when you want to get a user's name the player's name for example text is when you want to display a text so for now let's double click on sprite and you're gonna get greeted by this thing right here this is the sprite editor the sprite editor is fairly easy to use but it can get lost sometimes I'm gonna make a separate video for the sprite editor but for now just do what I do right click down here on the images panel and say add image from a file now you're gonna have you're probably gonna have these images because these come with every copy of gdevelop so let's choose a nice image for our stuff for now just any image is okay okay just any image because I'm not gonna be not gonna explain this thing in depth for now let's just choose top down shooter.png right here click on OK and click on this X icon at the top right here and there you have it your object is now inside of the scene so what do you do now just gonna explain to you some of the things at the top right here preview is if you want to preview your game stop preview if you want to stop the preview because if you select a native game and not an HTML5 game your preview will be inside of this thing and you will probably be um, let's just make an example for you to know now the game is previewing and you can't click on anything and you probably think that the software is bugging but it's not you just click on this thing right here and you can edit your scene again here we have the objects editor which is this thing on the right which lists all of your objects and you can see that this thing changed again but you just click on the scene to take it back you also have a layers editor if you want to layer work you can click on that to close that instances opens up um, a list of all of the instances that you have for example make a new object um, excuse me for example I drag a new object uh, yeah like that and open up the instances you can see that there are two instances of my object over here let's go ahead and delete that for now you have undo redo and grid if you edit this grid to 32 by 32 for example you can pretty much snap your object to the grid for accurate placement for example you have some walls that you want to place accurately you can use the grid for that for now let's take off the grid and see what some other things mean mask means that it displays your game window it displays your game window around the uh, dark 
uh, frame this makes you know how the game looks like how the final result looks like because this is the game window size this is the application size the size of the window return to original position is um, if you have dragged the frame around you are editing a big big level and you want to return to the position that you first started and it takes you back here initial zoom is if you're working on a huge level and you have to zoom out you can use this or you can zoom in if you're doing some very precise placement so for now we're just gonna see how to add behaviors how to add properties and such we have to our objects if you right click on the scene you can either insert a new object paste special paste but if you right click on an object you can see this extended menu this uh, you can edit the properties of the object over here or add a behavior over here or do some other stuff like lock the object so you cannot touch that anymore so you can work on more objects on top of it without having to accidentally click it for now we're gonna unlock that we're gonna right click over here and go to properties we're gonna drag this so you can see everything here you have the position for example set this to 300 and you can move it around precisely you can also have the angle the z order is the order of the object um, compared to other objects uh, the layer what layer is it on if you want to lock the object or no custom size if you want to have the animation variables is just like in programming where you can have variables you can also edit the object sprite if you want to edit the object sprite you just click over here on edit and you can edit the objects inside of the sprite editor that or you right click over here and say edit and then it opens up the edit or the object editor excuse me <laughs> now you can also add a behavior down here so what's a behavior if you click on add you can see all of these behavior a behavior obviously is how the object will behave for example you can have it move like a platform character you can have it move in an eight direction movement style you can have physics engine for it to have realistic physics uh, stuff you can have path for those point and click adventure games like um, I don't know if you know about clock tower it was a uh, SNES game it was a super Nintendo it was a super Nintendo game where you basically click around and the player just uh, goes to that path that you define and uh, it avoids obstacles and stuff like that so for now let's go and select on top down movement four or eight directions and click on OK this object is going to be provided by the top down movement extension here it asks if you want to implement that extension inside of the game because this thing it does not add any extension unless you you ask it to so that it saves more memory now if we click on preview on top of here I'm gonna stop that if we click on this preview on top of here you can pretty much preview your players movement congratulations you just made a game a real game now you can move your player around you can uh, use the arrow keys to move him just in case you didn't know that yet so you use the arrow keys to move and you can move him around admire your own creation right now do you have the debugger you can play this in a window if you would like that you can also have profile and you can have the help file which um, you have me right now you don't need the uh, help file right now okay and you can just stop the preview right here on the right you have the objects editor you can group objects and you can add new objects uh, with existing with an exist you can add an instance of an existing object by right clicking by clicking on the right here and dragging it into the frame but if you do that you're gonna have two objects with the same movement so right now let's stop this and explain more about this if you right click over here you're gonna have pretty much the same menus that you have if you right click over here if you click on an object right here you can edit the object or rename him copy cut paste etc etc you can add an object onto the objects list add a group of object add a new group to group your objects or edit its properties oops excuse me 
just gonna click over here to get that away and you can edit the sprite by click right clicking over here and clicking on edit so that's pretty much it for the scene editor that's pretty much what you really need to know and um, subscribe if you want to uh, like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it I am less enthusiastic than uh, my previous two videos in this one video because um, I'm a little bit sick right now but I still I still want to make tutorials so I just did that so thank you for watching subscribe if you want to like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and tell me I could get better and please stay tuned for the next set of tutorials on G Develop if you really want to get serious into making games thank you